this is Optobotom. He's coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be doing an absolute first for Optobotomus, and that is a Superman figure. Well, okay, I've done Superman figures before, but this one is the new Sideshow exclusive Hot Toys Superman. A 1 6 scale collectible figure. Now, it is not a doll, it is a collectible figure. It's an art super articulated Barbie. But I don't care, because this is from the Superman movie, the original one from 1978. The one with Christopher Reeves. The one that put Superman on the big screen and in the hearts and minds of moviegoers forever. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, this box is impressive. This is absolutely huge. You can see, here's my hand. Um, just because I, I have it here, there's Metroplex. And for another goofy comparison, here's my Homer Simpson slipper. This thing is gargantuan. I'm amazed. This is my first Hot Toy figure, and the box absolutely amazes me. Now, I recently watched my good friend JT Mitchell's review on this. And one thing that he actually kind of complained about is he really wished that it was just a standard box that Hot Toys is known to give us. Because realistically, most people aren't going to want to display this like this. Without a doubt, this is being displayed for me. This is just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. When you get it, it's going to come in two sections. I'm going to, I'm going to set this off to the back. Uh, it comes with this, and people are going to be like, well, what do I do here? And you can see, if you put it like this, it forms the box. Well, you, you kind of can see it. Kind of, sort of, I guess. It, it forms the box. So the fact that they just cut it into this kind of uh, awesome looking display stand, I actually had that upside down, is just really kind of cool. And so you got this, and then, like I said, you flop it out, and this is supposed to replicate the Fortress of Solitude, so that's really cool. And then this thing itself is just massive. Now, uh, I'm going to set it down here, and once you open it, and it just slides open, I'm assuming. I, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm doing this live on camera. This is a live unboxing. All right, so we set that off to the side. Now, I saw this actually in JT Mitchell's, and this, honestly is is classy like you wouldn't believe it says right on here in memory of christopher reeve and one of the other beautiful things that they do is that a portion for this at least if you buy it from siso collectibles goes towards the christopher reeve foundation i'm absolutely floored with that i love that now you take that now maybe you i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure which way this goes here we go oh okay well there's there's that um here's some cardboard so i'll just put that back inside there just like that and I actually opened it upside down so we're gonna flip this around this comes off and that, like I said that is just absolutely classy so classy and here he is inside the packaging uh, I, I'm amazed with how this looks absolutely amazed this this is stunning and gorgeous now the one thing that's exclusive to this if you got this from Sideshow Collectibles you can see down here he actually comes with kryptonite on a chain now that's a regional exclusivity if you live overseas in China or something like that you got that with this set but if you live here in the United States the only way to get that is to get it from Sideshow Collectibles now ordering directly from them right up front I paid uh, I believe it was 237 shipped for this entire figure my friend JT Mitchell paid 209 shipped from Big Bad Toy Store now mine had to factor in uh, tax which is $15 so the difference really isn't that much. If you really want a full, complete looking figure, I really do recommend getting the Sideshow Collectible one, even if you're just gonna store that. Uh, it's, you know, like 13, 12, 13 dollars extra if you get it from them, as opposed to Big Bad Toy Store, but it's not that big of a deal. As you can see, beautiful figure right inside here, which I'm just absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed. You got different hands. You got uh, a hand that's kind of like shaped like this. I'll show that off more. You got two different hands that are, you know, like he's flying. Two closed fists, obviously the the chain with the kryptonite on it. Uh, looks like some extra pegs or something. I, I'm not 100% sure what those are. And then you see the stand in the background. Now, uh, like I said, I've never owned a Hot Toys figure. So that, that just is absolutely stunning looking. Wow. I, I'm literally just speechless. So let's get this open. And it does say to please read the instruction sheet first and follow all construction details during the assembly process. So obviously it takes a little bit to uh, put together. So 
Let's get this guy open and let's see how cool he actually is. Okay guys, so here we have Superman opened up and out of its packaging. Everything's fully assembled and as you can see, I have them displayed. Now, when it comes to this kryptonite piece, uh, really this is the best pose that I could possibly think of if you choose to display him with the kryptonite piece. Uh, I just absolutely love the way that this looks. Now starting things off first, we're going to take a look. He comes with this stand that says Superman the movie on there and of course it says Superman right on the plaque right there. Uh, it, it comes in two pieces that you have to assemble this part just plugs in here so nothing too terribly spectacular and then he's got these little prongs here with and like I said this is my first hot toys so I'm assuming that's kind of like a little crotch grabber sort of a display stand he comes with the uh, you know some other interchangeable hands obviously like I said he's got just kind of like this little regular open palm sort of looking hand uh, which I do have displayed on him right now normally he has a fist just like so and then he's got two hands to kind of simulate him flying through the air woo, just like that uh, he does come with two extra pegs, which I don't know if they're extra or if they're designed because for the life of me, I can't get this peg out of this hand. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Now this stand here actually I just have for display purposes. I'll show that off here in a minute. The other little piece of uh, exclusiveness is the kryptonite chain itself. Now it is a metal chain and it's very, very nice. One thing that is absolutely cool, uh, like if you look on the back, it's, you know, a black solid bit of plastic, but then it's got this green translucent plastic here on the front. And then on the inside, it actually seems to have a little bit of some kind of like reflective, I don't know, chrome bit or something that it, when you when you move it around, it actually looks like it is lit up. It's just very cool how that looks. I love that. Now, the other piece that is absolutely stunning is this uh, Fortress of Solitude sort of display stand, which is just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You can see how it starts off as this kind of darker bluish color tone, and then as it comes up to the tip, it gets progressively clearer, which is absolutely gorgeous. The one problem that I do have is when you come to assemble this, um, specifically on mine, this one doesn't peg in very well at all. And it's very hard to, you have to force it in there, kind of, and I can't really get it in there totally straight. Um, and, and that's one really kind of unfortunate piece about it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if others are like that, but mine in particular kind of sucks. It does stay on there, and these are all held in just by friction, but I would really wish I could push that in just a little more tight. And then it comes with this big clear stand, which is used in case you want to have them fly around. And then you take this little bit right here, you just slide this down. Uh, the screw's a little bit tight on it. But you can see that just kind of pegs up there, and then you can have Superman wrapped around there and have him flying around just like that. <laughs> now, as for Superman himself, I'm literally amazed at the amount of detail that this figure has. As I said, and I've said it many times already, this is my first Hot Toys figure. I've seen the other ones. I've seen how good they can look. Just something about this one, though, really just grabs my attention. Without a doubt, that is one seriously incredible likeness of Christopher Reeves. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like they literally scanned his face. I don't know how they do it. But it's like they scanned his face and straight up sculpted it from that same exact scan. It's just absolutely incredible looking. Now his costume is kind of this uh, stretchy material, which you, you can see it's it, it's stretchy. And you can actually kind of sort of see through it if you, if you pull it enough, uh, kind of. Now, I wasn't too terribly sure about this at first, but getting it in hand and looking at it, I I'm just absolutely amazed with the level of detail that this has and how accurate it really does actually look. Coming down a little bit, I, I guess my biggest complaint would be um, at least on mine, you can kind of see how this uh, folds under. Um, I, I don't really know how I can fix that, if, if I can fix it. I mean, you can kind of sort of tuck it down. And then because of the way it is, you see the joint up here. And that's, I guess I, guess I can live with that. Uh, I mean, that's not too terribly bad. I mean, you can slide it down. And I, I guess maybe if this one wasn't as bulgy, uh, I, I, I don't know. Just this one on this side looks better than this one does over on this side. I, I don't know why that is. And then going all the way through, I guess my other only real complaint would be I wish the uh, the joints, I mean, you, you can see he's got ankle articulation. He can bend back and forth 
back and forth, all that stuff. But because this is a really kind of soft rubber, um, it, it doesn't stay down. Um, so you can't really get too much of a pose. I mean, you can kind of sort of do it. I mean, like you see there, and he sort of holds his pose but not too much. I wish there was a really strong kind of like ratchet joint there. In terms of his other articulation, um, I don't even know where to begin talking about it. Uh, it it's it, like this little bit right up here is, is actually kind of like a soft rubber. Um, and a lot of the articulation is underneath the actual neck itself. So you can get it going left, going right, and then the head itself is on a ball joint. So like the head's on a ball joint and you get a full range of motion there. And then the neck, itself is on a ball joint so I mean you can really get him doing just about anything that's absolutely amazing his shoulders are on these joints that you can see go up and down they rotate all the way around and one thing that I know JT Mitchell mentioned because of the way that this costume is you can really get a full range of motion I mean granted you gotta sort of take the uh, the shirt and rotate it around if you want to get his arm all the way up just just like that uh, I mean that's it's absolutely amazing just the uh elasticity of the costume allows for all that motion uh now he's kind of he goes back and forth forward back it's like there's two different joints here he he rotates I, I i think i mean there's just so much articulation in here it's like a million points of articulation i don't know it's probably not that many i think maybe 30 or something back and forth at the leg in and out it rotates back and forth uh it kind of looks like there's two points here at the knee yeah, there's, there's two points here at the knee itself. Um, knee doesn't rotate or anything, but uh, he rotates here at the boot. And then, like I said, he's got ankle articulation. So any pose that you can really think of getting him in, he absolutely can get into it. The other really kind of cool thing, uh, if you look on the back here, I, I actually kind of detached it. He's got some but uh, like buttons or something. And you can see that the cape just snaps right into it. Hopefully you can actually see it because I'm not actually looking at my camera right now. Now I am. Uh, it, you know, it, it clips right on there, so that's really cool. But then the other really neat thing is along the side here, there are very small, very thin wires. So you can actually kind of sort of pose this cape in, across the bottom here as well. So you can bend it. And I mean, it, it, it stays in that position. And this is, this is a uh, stretchy kind of plastic as well. So it does look a little bit more wrinkled. Then, then I think I would like it to look, but overall, it's, it's really, I, I really shouldn't even complain. I mean, that's, it's just silly to complain about something like that. And then, like I said, the, uh, the wrists are removable, so you just take this little piece out right here, and you see this, and then, let's see if I can, yeah, these are really tough to get out, and, and I don't want to break, oh, okay, so that just comes out like so, and then you just peg this in, just like that. And then uh, stick that back in. And like I said, you can rotate his arm all the way up, adjust the way his costume is, and you can have him flying through the air. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. And that's why I use this particular stand that I have. Because then I can just perch him on there, and that's just absolutely fantastic. And stunning and again this is where i would really wish you could get some feet articulation or ankle specifically uh, with really heavy ratcheted joints because then you could angle the feet so it actually looks more like he's flying uh but i mean seriously how cool is that and that, his foot's about to hit the fortress of solitude i mean really that is absolutely incredible just absolutely incredible I don't even know what else to say. Or like I said, if you really wanted to use the included stand and you don't have the luxury of having this one, which I don't even remember where I got this from. So pretend I never showed you that. Uh, I mean, obviously you can, and you can have them kind of flying around like that. Now, the biggest thing is you can only really make it look like he's landing because of the way that the actual clip is. It clips around his waist, as you can see, and that's kind of unfortunate. But like I said, I have my own little stand thing, so I can do it myself. Now, one other minor nitpick that I have is the chain actually for the kryptonite is really long. Um, I don't remember it going all the way down to his junk. So when you display it, you really have to kind of get it hanging down half his back and uh, kind of go like that. And it kind of can balance just 
that's just way too long. That's that's a minor nitpick, I suppose, but you know, if if you're really not sold on paying the couple extra dollars, you know, from the Sideshow Collectibles version, or in getting the Sideshow Collectible version because you don't really want that piece of a kryptonite, it, well, that's not really going to help you too much. Now, without a doubt, Hot Toys figures are amazing looking. This being my very first one, I'm literally blown away. I kind of got this one as a test because I knew that I wanted to get the future version of the 1989 Batman and Joker in addition to the Batmobile. I wasn't sure how I would really like these figures and whether or not I'd be happy with dropping 200 plus dollars on them. So I really got this guy kind of as a test, a way to gauge my actual interest in if when I got a hold of it, if I could forget how much I paid for it. And without a doubt, the answer is yes. Getting this in my hands, I completely forgotten how much I paid for it. I was playing with it and having a fun time and just absolutely amazed at how good it looked. At 200 plus dollars, I can definitely tell you that this is not going to be in everybody's budget. This is an adult collector figure. Or if you're young, this is something you're going to have to save up some money for. But for long term fans of the Christopher Reeve version of Superman, in a lot of our minds, this is Superman. This is what made Superman what it is today. And for us fans, it's easy absolutely easy to look at this and say I need this I want this and it's going in my collection if you are a fan of hot toys and if you're a fan of Superman just in general I highly recommend somehow some way picking this figure up whether it be the regular version that you can get at say big bad toy store or the sideshow collectible version which comes with this little piece of kryptonite uh, my honest opinion is that if you're going to collect this figure and if you're going to spend the money, spend a couple extra bucks and get the best version possible. It does have a few minor flaws, at least with mine, but without a doubt, I absolutely love this figure and I highly, highly recommend picking him up. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optimus with Superman saying I'll talk to you later.